Realities, I am back with another crochet video for you guys and today I am going to be showing you guys how to crochet this very tiny flower. It's a five petals flower as you can see and I am going to be starting a new series here on my channel showing you guys small projects such as flowers, leaves and granny squares. So I really hope you guys enjoy the series and also today's video. So let's begin with the tutorial. So for today's video, I'm going to be using these yarns right here. You guys can use any yarn that you want to create the flower. You can use a very thin yarn and also very thick yarn. So it's going to depend on how you want your flower to look like. So here I have a blue yarn, a beige and an orange. And also I'm going to be using a 4mm hook and a small pair of scissors. And also in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to read crochet charts. I have here the flower one, as you can see. And this chart is going to be available on my website, so the link is going to be in the description below. And before you start, you just want to make sure that you know what each of the symbol means. So the little oval circle right here is a chain, as you can see here, in between the double crochets. And then the X is single crochets or double crochets in the UK. And I have here the American term and also the UK term. And then we have the slip stitches, which are little dots, as you can see, to finish off each row. And then we have the double crochet or treble crochet, which are these ones right here. And then we have the half treble or half double crochets in America, which are these ones right here, just after the magic ring. And then we have the magic ring, which is the one right in the middle, okay? Or you can call magic loop. So when you know what they mean, you can start with the project. I'm going to be starting right in the middle because I know that I have to start right in the middle. Sometimes they have numbers or maybe like something saying start here, but sometimes they just use numbers, okay? So starting right in the middle, we are going to be starting with a magic ring. So to create the magic ring, you're going to be using your index finger and your middle finger. You're going to go around these two fingers, as you can see, and stopping the yarn right on the top. And then you're just going to be folding your fingers just like that. And then leaving the yarn at the back and then going through the middle of the two fingers and then grabbing the yarn from the back. And then you can release the fingers. And then you're going to be having something just like this. So this is how you make a magic ring. And if you guys want to know where to start, it's basically opposite where the slip stitch is. So if the slip stitch is right here, then you're going to be starting here. If the slip stitch is right here, then you're going to be starting on the other side. So we are going to be creating the chain and then working all the way around the magic ring, creating half double crochets. You're going to be chaining two. So one and two, and then we are going to be creating half double crochets. And in total, you should have nine half double crochets. So when you have the 10 stitches, you're going to be pulling this little yarn right here that we left here in the magic ring. You're going to be pulling very tight. And then you're going to be basically closing that little circle. And as we can see here in the chart, we are going to be finishing off with a slip stitch. So right here, we are going to be counting one and two here on the chain and then into the second one, you're going to be creating a slip stitch. And now we are going to go into the second row and we are going to be doing exactly the same following every and each symbol that you have right here. So we are going to be starting with a chain of three and then chaining plus one, so that will be four, and then we are going to be creating a double crochet on top of each half double crochet into the previous row. And then we are going to be repeating that all the way around. So right here, we are going to be doing a chain of three plus one, so that's four, and then you're going to be finding right here the half double crochet, and then you're going to be creating a double crochet right on top chain one and then finding the next half double crochet and creating a double crochet chain one and then finding the next half double crochet As you can see here there is a little V right here right on top and then creating the double crochet and then you're going to be repeating this all the way around until you have 10 spaces so when you get at the end, you want to make sure that you chain one 
and then connect to the other side with a slip stitch so you're going to be counting one two into the third chain right here we are going to be creating a slip stitch so we have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten spaces so now going into the next row we are going to be starting here with a single crochet or double crochet as you can see okay so single crochet and then we are going to be only working into the little chains that we've created here in between the double crochets and then one we are going to be creating here a single crochet and then the next one we are going to be creating a little shell with five double crochets so now you're going to be finding the next space available right on top of the chain and you're gonna go through the space grabbing the yarn and creating a single crochet and then straight from here you're gonna go into the next space available here on top of the chain and then you're going to be creating five double crochets into that chain space and then into the next space available you're going to be creating a single crochet and then into the next one five double crochets and then single crochet and then into the next one five double crochets and then you're going to be repeating the same all the way around and at the end you should have five petals and when you have finished here the last petal right beside the petal we have the very first single crochet that we've created and then we're just gonna go back into that single crochet and creating a slip stitch and then you're going to be chaining one and then you can fasten off so you're going to be cutting the thread and then you're going to be pulling the thread with the hook and then pull tight and then you can just cut this yarn right here and you can just weave in this one And as you can see, this is the chart and this is the flower. And if you guys want, you can do the flower with single crochets right at the beginning. As you can see, this one I've created with single crochets instead of the half double crochets. And it's a little bit more tinier right in the middle of the flower. So you can see that this one's a little bit smaller and this one is a little bit bigger. And also what makes the difference between these two is the yarn. This one is a little bit thicker and this one is a little bit thinner and a little bit more softer and now I'm going to be showing you guys very quickly how to make with this orange one right here I'm not gonna be explaining a lot to you guys just to show you guys how to make it quite quickly so magic ring chaining two and then nine half double crochets and then close the magic ring and then connect both sides right here on the top with a slip stitch so now working with double crochets you're going to be chaining four and then following the half double crochets and the stitches we are going to be creating the double crochets so chain one and then into the next stitch on top of the half double crochet a double crochet so nine double crochets chain one and connect to the other side with a slip stitch so now into the next chain space available you're going to be creating a single crochet and then into the next one five double crochets into the next one a single crochet and then into the next one five double crochets and then you're going to be repeating the same all the way around when you get at the end, you're going to be finding the very first single crochet. You're going to go through that single crochet and then slip stitching to connect to both sides. And then you're going to be chaining one and then you can fasten off and weave in the yarn. So this is how the flowers turned out. And because I am using different yarn weights for each of the yarns, they will look a little bit different. And of course, you can use any other yarn that you want. I am just using random ones 
just to show you guys how to crochet the flowers so this is everything for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed how to crochet these very tiny flowers and if you guys have any video ideas make sure you leave in the comment below and i'll be more than happy to do it for you guys and i'll see you guys on my next one bye bye Thank you.